Bonjour. 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 Um, we are, uh, shit, that was German. I can't believe I screwed it up so early on. Um, how do you say we in fr- Not that we in French. You're asking oh, me, oui, of all people. Oui. No. We are busy here with oui, the Revolution. And it is a very good game. You know, last time I went through France, I was encouraged not to speak English at all. So you just spoke like this the whole time, and they said, Oh, Sam, you are one of us. No, I think they would have declared war on me no, if I had spoken like that, especially The French English. don't declare wars. You must understand that. Of the... course I do. The moment they take away your love of bread. <laughs> yeah, we would. Uh, yeah. Well, if you raise it fuel prices. It Topical. Was... Yeah, very, very. Okay, you went. You went Mexican for some reason. <laughs> if you're gonna insult someone, <laughs> insult everyone. That's true. Um, we are here. Um, we're literally here. Uh, Sam sitting right next to me. I could put my tongue out and onto his cheek right now if I so pleased. Um, I'm gonna do it. Please don't. We'll see. Um, and we are playing uh, We the Revolution, uh, a game I've been looking forward to for a very long time. A game that I, f- I think not many people know about, and I think deserves a lot more attention because I think it's actually phenomenal. So, what are we um, rising up against? Um, what is the French Revolution? They were, they, were, they were against the monarchy, weren't they? It was over a loaf of bread. No, Get your it history was, right. It was, it was no, it wasn't. That was Victor Hugo writing Anne Hathaway's character. Um, in Lamers, um, do you think Victor Hugo saw Anne Hathaway in as playing that character? Because I think Victor Hugo is more of a more of a um, Halle Berry sort of dude. There are many things I think Victor Hugo would have liked to have seen, especially um, what's his name? Who beautiful voice, like even better than Anne Hathaway's. Can we Who play? Can it? we play a game? What? Can we play this game? I'm waiting on you. You You're use the mouse. You're closer to the mouse than I am. Okay. So, a whole point of We the Revolution is that we are a judge during revolutionary France. And we have to figure out... Not really figure out. We just kind of have these moral questions and quandaries on what to do with these poor uh, people who have committed crime. So, let's just click on him. See what he has to say. In difficult times... People like to seek peace at the bottom of a glass. Click again. We're going to have to do a lot of clicking, unfortunately. Please introduce yourself. Shall I do the voice you, you of the judge? The vo- no, no. I'll, okay, you do the judge. You okay. do the judge. Please introduce yourself. Uh, um, my name is Jean Renard, Monsieur le Juge. Nothing but a fraud. Nothing but a fraud. So oh, and jury. the jury is systematically opposing the opinion of the jury may lead to serious consequences. So the jury is going to offer like a, what should we do with them? Cause you so guys the get... idea is to get in bed with them. If the, not, then there well, are consequences. Not, I mean, at, at, at the risk of maybe violating what your family wants or what the revolutionaries want. So the whole game is, 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 is it looks like a puzzle game, but it's more of a strategy game. If I click again quickly. If, if, if I could describe it as such, because you, you've got this whole balancing act. You can see just below there, um, under expected sentence, you've got two options right now. This is the first chapter in the game. You've got prison and acquittal. Prison and acquittal. And you can see right there under prison, you have your common folk and your revolutionaries. They both once been in prison. I mean, later on, you sort of got to start appealing to your family. Um, I got the, the, the last case I had to do was my son's tutor, who said, Oh, papa, he told me to read. You cannot kill him. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I killed him because he was spreading. Pro- wow! He was spreading anti-revolutionary propaganda, and everyone was like, "Dog, what the fuck? You can't I do that." I was just going to say, how can Bye-bye. you know? How could you appeal to the revolutionaries when the revolutionaries themselves don't even know what they want? Papa, I could not read propaganda if you are not talking to me. Okay, please stop that. Me. That's very. Papa, how could you do this? My son hated me. He hated me. And my wife was like, no, you've done it badly. But my son, who was revolutionary, was like, ace. Nice one. Nice one. You did a good job, papa. <laughs> papa, you did a good job. Okay, let's let's look at this guy's case. Yes, let's just send this guy to the gallows no, and no, no, call no, it no, a no, day. No, 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 he's not. Let's see. So his name is Jean Renard. He's a 45-year-old innkeeper. He's been charged with fraud. He's accused of diluting alcohol in his tavern, tricking his clients into paying extra. 
Welcome, monsieur. Set yourself down and meet the best in. Keep. We could get. We wait, could. We, we could get sued. We could very That's much not. so. Uh, guests came with their mindset and specific goal: getting roaring drunk. But instead of staggering out after drinking two pitchers of wine or several pints of beer, they would sit in the inn until morning, still sober and completely penniless. That kind of sounds almost ideal, though, doesn't it? Um, the innkeeper's fraud came to light when one of the customers discovered the scam and caught the cheater in the act. The man entered the host cellar and witnessed him diluting the alcohol in the barrels with ordinary water. As a result, customers received only four parts of what they paid for and one part from the water carrier. I was just going to say, this man was doing a public service. You can um, run a revolution with yeah. a fogged up head. Well, let's sort of piece together the puzzle here, right? So basically we have the bits of the story here. And we have how they fit into everything. So diluting or adding water was the, method. was the method. Yes. So we've discovered a question we can ask him. Customer's drunkness was motive. Motive, yes. So we have, you see uh, possible mistakes you can make. If you make too many mistakes, you run out of questions. And then you finally... You have a trap as well. You've got to be careful. There's a ooh. trap that, that can play you wrong. And then finally, exposing the innkeeper was the witness. Was the witness. Yes. I'll say we have one more question to reveal. Diluting alcohol... I would say is method as well. A method is only one is highlighting, so so we've got all questions unlocked. Okay, dokie. Straightforward. So now, now you can see you can see sort of it gives you a hint of what sort of quo or how it's gonna sort of play out. So these are more likely to end him up in prison. This is more of a balanced thing. So let's go. Please long... call in Thomas Leclerc. Gotta say it again now. You <laughs> shot yourself in the foot. Please now, call I... in Thomas Leclerc, <laughs> the second. The <laughs> second. Please introduce yourself. Thomas Leclerc, as you just <laughs> said. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> I am a regular at John Renard's establishment. So questions uh, for the witness. So you can how... choose between one. Okay, so how long have you suspected that something was wrong with Mr. Renard's alcohol? Or mm. how did you catch Citizen Renard in the act of diluting wine with water? I like how they refer to Citizen Renard. No, no, no. no. All details. Uh, how was, I would how go with the you, second one. How did you... Yes, no, like how, yes. Like that's just suspected. Yes. How did you catch him as like straight up, yeah. How did you fog up this story? Yeah. How did you catch Citizen <laughs> Renard... You're enjoying this. <laughs> you almost have to say it twice. How did you catch Citizen Renard in the act of diluting wine with water? How, what voice did I do for him? Was it like deep or was it high like the other I'll guy? I'll just go back to your, your French child's accent. I was that went well. after another. <laughs> so I had, you know, Monsieur Le Juge. Uh, I know. Hmm. I apparently know. You're a drunk in this. So it happened that what time I got lost in a state of, you know, I... Ended up in the cellar, where I saw Renard, and then wanted to do some else. <coughs> oh, hello, uh, Renard, you're back. Okay, now you see the, the, the jury sort of gone up to wanting him in prison. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, and then okay. later on, when, when you build the first guillotine, like another layer gets added, and then you have to, like, weigh up death penalties, and how that it's going to affect your family, and how that's going to affect the revolutionaries and the common folk. Because if you, the common folk lose faith in you, then, like, they start to... Like there's, there's this sort of negative benefits that fall on you if the revolutionaries fall too low with well you fall too low with them they start to enact some sort of revenge on your family it gets really difficult and then each of your family members we can show after this I'll show you after this, so let's ask them another question you have to balance each of your family members what they think about you the jury in the left hand corner look completely intrigued by what is going on about I like them. this I like this look man. of concentration he looks like a skull and I like, yeah, he's leaning I like forward like you dude your he's neck like, he's your mentor he like this guy is also he drinks with you ah. speaking of which do your clients drink a lot uh, the vernaculars usually drink a lot Ah, uh, so you have been selling plenty of wine. Quite a lot, yes. And yet you have been paying taxes on the amount of wine you have bought, not the amount of wine you have been selling, correct? Oh, you fucking god. I, I, do, I do not understand. You have been paying taxes for f on four wine barrels. Stop, stop, I'm gonna say this. Can I say something? I love it, but I need more. I need more, I need more. I need the ch, <coughs> I need the ch, I need the ch of the French. Ah, je ne sais pas. You have been paying taxes there on four is. wine barrels. There it is. That's the one. But by know. adding a quarter of water to each, have actually made the money for selling five barrels of wine. No, we. Oui? Uh, that is one way of putting it. Uh, 
Perhaps it is correct. I am <laughs> I'm not too good with numbers. And neither were the revolutionaries. Well, you are not good with numbers, yet good enough to have calculated that fraud pays off. Okay, I, that's a uh, little bit of a dumb question I, from a I, judge. I, I, I was not aware. You can tell by my moustache. <laughs> I'm actually quite jealous of him. I just shaved and I look I like noticed, an alien. I, I will take that answer into account. No, I won't. It's the judge has exposed the bastard. Okay. Yeah, so questions for the defendant. How long have you been involved in the illegal practice? And how do you feel about tricking wary citizens? Which is... He's a criminal. Well, He's... let's just... Okay, now, you... now you're going Moroccan. Oh. you got to hold the French. I need you to hold the French. How long? Have you been involved in the illegal practice of diluting alcohol? Uh, it's not an illegal practice. Everyone has a beat on the top. In your in case, <laughs> sorry, I need, let's, I need, let's do some real mic work. In your case, it was a bit wine in the water, not the other way around. There's just some ambient jury noise that we're just playing with the mic space with. Okay. How have you been doing this for a long time? Uh, a few weeks at the most. It's uh, it's been a hard earning a living lately. I used to run an honest business. Pure wine was overspilling the glasses. Oh, so he's just assembled and he doesn't know how to get away with stuff. Mm. Is there any proof to support your testimony? Oh crap, now I've got to move away from the bloody mic again. He lied to his customers. No reason he wouldn't lie in court. Oh, that was a woman. I did a man's voice for that one. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, last one. Last one. Final question. How did you feel about tricking wary citizens? Ah, terrible, but uh, all I wanted was to keep my business afloat. Others won't mess around for sure. No, no diluting would be the end of me. I can't believe it. This guy's the anti-game developer. Yo. So you decided to commit fraud so as not to lose money? <laughs> oh no, I just thought of Bioware. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible for that. I feel so... That wasn't... No, that wasn't fraud. That was EA. If I lost my Devon, my family would starve to death. Good, they're useless. Do you have children? I do, one son and two daughters. Time to start saving up for the dowry. Oh, oh God, okay. Let me no, do, you let do me, that let one. Me do you that one. Then why don't you send them to work, idiot? That was a, that was a good voice, actually. Why, well, thank you. That was a very good voice. Okay, so now we can look in our notebook, see all our global modifiers, these like where you stand. Oh, and this is your um, this is your this kill is, count. This is your kill count essentially. Yes. Um, and then you have your list of days, what you did, you know, how many influence points and whatnot. Events. So this is an event that happens on the first or the prologue. Um, I mean, neighborhood gossip. Yeah, I know. It was it was my son got into a fight because someone called me a drunk and he didn't like it. <sighs> and then this, this is like just a sort of a diary of important people. Uh, um, so I have a question. Yes, is yes, this, yes, yes, yes. Um, you, this is, may I, is, am I correct in saying this is similar to Phoenix Wright in that it's it's an overarching narrative with yes. several cases? Yeah, yeah. There is, there in. is, there is definitely an overarching narrative. That's actually from what I've I've got about two hours in, and it seems quite faithful to the French Revolution. Um, uh, I think the second to last case I did, um, the last case I did was the was the tutor, my son's tutor. The case before that was King Louis. At the 15th? I think that was the French Revolution one. Um, who I um, cut his head off. So the writing is <coughs> on it's, point. It's, yeah. it's, you know what, it's, 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 it's not bad. For a game that's uh, largely this, they are, are voiced sort of still cutscenes. Like comic book sort of panel cutscenes with voices, which aren't, they're not terrible. No, 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 this is a good looking game. I'm particularly... No, I like the art style. The, particularly the backdrops of this. Mm. I'm just liking the angular designs of the common folk. It's very Orwell. Yeah. So yeah, um, especially that. Look at that. Yeah. That's great. So like then you know you have like special events that sometimes happen. So this neighborhood gossip. Um, I went and spoke to the parents of the kid. My kid beat up, and they told me to basically fuck off. Um, so I'm gonna hire thugs to sort them out because I'm a judge. You don't talk. Good. To You're busy. Things. Yeah. Moving on. So our, our now we can decide our verdict. Jerry's opinion is that he should go to prison, or we could decide. Hey, maybe he just needs the money to survive, and he wasn't trying to actually be a criminal and set him free. Mm. But if you go against jury too much, they don't they don't dig that. So you got to basically like you got to compromise morals somewhere, you know. And I like that. I like a game that I like I like a game that put, gives you moral dilemmas where you're not the 
um, center of it, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah, yes. Where you're an outsider looking in. Not, not games like Spec Ops where you are the guy doing that action. I like games where you give you the moral quandary and you have to... So, uh, just for, since we're talk- we were talking about this earlier, the ending of the Sexy Brutal, for instance. Mm, mm. That kind of moral quandary. Yeah, basically. If a bit convoluted, then yeah. more than this. Yeah. I actually have an opinion on what... Uh, course think? of action we should take okay. because we are talking we are sentencing here an individual who was not acting in revolutionary spirits he was ripping off the common folk as it were and therefore if he was going against anyone above him mm. then there may be issue to be taken and not speak so it would be you want to let him go I actually think he should go to prison. He should go to prison. I think he, because he was ripping off the okay. common folk, okay. the, the common well, man, look, the revolutionaries I'm, themselves. And you, can, and you can see by his choosing prison, like it tells you like sort of, if you we were to quit him, both revolutionaries or and common folk would not enjoy it. So, for once, the, yeah. jury's, the jury system actually delivers so on a consensus. let us sign him off. Fidela. There Fidela. you go. A sentence citizen Jean Renard to prison. Lead the condemned out. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Long live pure wine! That is the most French sentence I've ever heard. Um, there you go. And then, uh, yeah, the reports are like little, like sort of side questions you can ask to unlock this your reputation. Animal. The less your reputation, the more degraded the statue becomes, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, in terms of in terms of interface and navigation, is it easy to get um, to it's, ha- it's, handle on this game? Yeah, it 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 seems a little bit convoluted at first. A little bit like um, not convoluted, but like kind of weird to like figure out where everything is. But uh, after about two or three cases, like everything starts to become pretty normal. Uh, as you can see, we're gonna get be presented. May I remind you that you have promised to join me? I have a feeling that tonight's moon favors gamblers. Ah, oui, monsieur. Though it does not favor spouses. God should grace us with wives who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. They should also know that the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. I wish they just grace us with wives, period. I should go home. Bringing a judge to the game as benefits as the players will surely not cheat. (laughs) (laughs) What naivety. (laughs) That is not a strong argument. Thank you. you. The most intelligent thing he said all day. My name is Jacques-Louis David. (laughs) <laughs> i am but a humble painter not a silver tongue judge you are way too dressed finely dressed for a painter right sir. you are a sly, sly politician jacques as a politician i understand the importance of keeping promises and you my friend are trying to get out of yours keep your promise or go home i want to go no, home no, it's been a long day at the court we send us a dude to prison let's just go and chill at home and you see this and this is this is the other dynamic that comes into play Eventually in the court case as well, um, when you, when I get, now you see, another, there's a bit like, yeah, now we get to see our character, oh that's our character. Oh my word, yeah. I made the wrong decision. Look at it them, is, they're having, no, but your wife made mashed potatoes That is the heart. colorless scene out of Corpse Bride. Look there at There is no it. life in that it's, picture. It's, she made a, a, a potato with, look how pleased she is. She's so weary. She's I, getting ready to murder me in no, my sleep. No, she's not. She's not. Um, so yeah, and then just to, uh, to end the video off, um, when it does eventually load. Late evening, the judge's house. Said, well, have I have visitors. No, I think it's just your family at this point. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. This, the, oh. Let's try. You can see okay, that this I'll, is a I, happy marriage already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you be him, what? I'll be. Tut, tut, tut. <laughs> <laughs> do you not want to berate me like you always do? I am glad you are home. Are you aware that... Ah, uh, Frederick. <laughs> Sometimes imagines you as a tipsy sailor. He dreams mm. that you visit his own companies he and imagines. wonderful adventures. I'm, I'm busy talking, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Click. He imagines me as a seaman? It, oh, God. But you'd rather have you by his side on land. We all want that. I don't want to watch the storm blow your life away and bear it beneath the waves. Please stop, please stop <laughs> speaking in metaphors. There are no waves. And you just pick a metaphors. The storm is getting closer. A dark clouds are ready to hang over the shore. Just wait until they finish building the guillotine. Your oath will break at once. And the waves will take you to a place you wish you never set foot on. Okay, she definitely is getting ready to murder me yeah. in my sleep. Look at, look at the look on my face. A place without ass. 
I really don't care about this. No, do he doesn't. I? You don't care. You look, look at that. You just, yes, you get fond out. Fond out. Fondling the fork, honestly. Out of my presence. Look at you fondle that fork. Your family loves you, but they won't find you in the darkness that is already back up. Enough of so, the metaphors. Get you out. See how you Victor Hugo, this novel. Like, this novel, this game is. It's very much sort of inspired by Victor Hugo's no, uh, there work. Are, there are certain soap opera elements uh, uh, to it, and very, it's great. Very um, uh, Joseph Conrad as well. Um, so and I, this is now the other sort of part of the game. That you have the different Your youngest members. son is special. Yeah. Yes, he's Damien. Yeah. Um, so like you can choose what to do with your evenings as well. So if you want to go to a Violet Vi Viola Concerto, hmm. your eldest son, your wife, and your youngest son will really appreciate that, but your father won't. Your tender demonstration, they'll enjoy it, but they won't. Spend the evening gambling. Your father for some reason oh, love that. digs that. No one else does. If you want an evening stroll, they'll all enjoy that except for your dad. So I like strolling in the evening. I'm, I'm thinking I have a strolling or concerto. Um, that just seems since logical. I've listened to classical music all day, okay, let's go for a stroll. An evening stroll. Okay, so I'm going to take that. So then, and then this comes into play, like, as I said, when you have to start taking into account uh, how your family feels about the verdicts you pass down. And it becomes this huge juggling act of you trying to keep um, all these different parties pleased and keep your family well and keep yourself alive in a position of power. You are trying the ranks. It's fantastic. You are trying to balance the scales of life and justice and justice. Um, and yeah, you are the law. Oh, it's King Louis the Sixteenth. That's who it is. Not fifteenth. I was off by one. It's, it's basically the same person. Today, the people. No, we need to end this video. It's too long already. <laughs> um so yes i think you should definitely i think people should definitely check this out i think it's a fantastic game i think it's well worth asking price i think it's got lots of replayability because of the different choices and how you they can really impact how you play it you can go back and completely wreck your completely career wreck wreck life, which career. i like yeah um yeah i think it's fantastic um shit what's goodbye in french is it also bonjour it's au revoir and bonjour oh. is safe travels i believe Okay, well then... But I'm just gonna say what Gravity Falls says and pretend that it was French. Je ne sais quoi ça que bleu, au revoir! Au revoir.